What up guys, Tyler here with Tarver Academy. If you want to hit subscribe, that'd be great. That way, if you ever need help again, I got your back. Plus we can have some fun together, learn about YouTube, education, whatever. Let's get started. So we're talking about slope intercept form. Um, what we want to do is say we're given an equation. So we got y equals negative six x minus 11. Okay, so in this problem, we want to find out what is the, what is the y intercept of this, okay? Well, in this problem, all you would need to know is, is this set up in slope intercept form? So slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, okay? So in this problem, the m is your slope. So whatever's in the place of where that number is is your slope. Whatever's in the place of b is your y intercept. And then the x and the y, those are gonna be a coordinate. Any coordinate that is on that line. So usually we don't keep x and y, like those aren't gonna be numbers. When we're saying, uh, put this in slope intercept form, you're not gonna want anything for x and y, you want them to stay x and y. Because that allows this equation to represent an entire line, not just like a specific coordinate, okay? So that's just kind of the overview. Now, if we're asking in this equation, what is the slope intercept? So if that's what the problem's asking, we have to see, do we need to rearrange any of the numbers in this equation so that, um, so that it can be in this form? All right, let's check. We've got our y's, they're good to go. Equal sign, it's in the right spot. We've got a number in front of our x, we've got a sign, and we've got another number. Everything's in order. This is just a straightforward, already set up for us. So, what is the slope intercept? Well. I'm sorry, what is the y-intercept? We look at what's in the place of this. It's plus b, in the spot of that is negative 11. So, on our line, we know our y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, is gonna be negative 11. So I gotta go down 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I know this is a coordinate on this line. Okay, I know that zero, negative 11, is on this line right here because that's my y-intercept, all right? Now, from there, I know that my slope right here is negative six, okay? And you're thinking, well, a slope should be like a rate of change, which means it's a number over another number. Well, we know anything divided by one is itself. And so you could be negative six over one or the same thing as six over negative one. Some people want you to write it like this, as like the, the way to write it, but either one of these will work when you're trying to actually build the line. So from that y-intercept, I want to take this and I want to build the line from here. So from this line, I know that I can go down six over one. So the top number is your up and down, and your bottom number is your left and right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right, and then I'm gonna go over one. That's another point. Down six from this point, one, two, three, four, five, six, over one. These are two coordinates. Or I could swap it around, and I could go up six, and then I could go backwards one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, back one. One, two, three, four, five, six, back one. Okay, and then I, that creates my line. And that's how you use slope-intercept formula to plot a line and just some of the details of slope intercept formula. I hope this helped. My name's Tyler. If you could please subscribe, that'd be great. That'd be the red button. And I hope we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, keep learning out there, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Look at this lighting, oh wow.